Here at News 5, we are working with you to rebound from the COVID-19 pandemic, which has forced some people to spend the holidays away from their family. That isolation particularly problematic for people struggling with addiction or living in recovery. Our Colette Bordelon joins us live from Rawhide Lane tonight with ways you can either help a loved one or ideas for a sober Christmas. Colette. Getting to enjoy Christmas lights, something many of us won't be taking for granted this year, especially in the wake of both national and local numbers showing that overdose deaths have increased this year. So I talked to one local who's battled alcoholism for years, and she says that the lights are now brighter, songs have meaning again, and the holidays just all around more special now that she's sober. Alcohol is glamorized. And it took years for Chastity Lemuel to break the cycle. I was a severe alcoholic and I was given two weeks to live. Now clean and sober, she's worried about so many people being home alone during the holidays. It's easier to hide when you are alone. You can drink, nobody knows. You can get high, nobody knows. At Springs Recovery Connection, she and other peer coaches have seen the calls for help skyrocket. One of the best things I've ever heard in my life is you are not alone. Sparkle Lindsay got together with her family for Thanksgiving after battling addiction for years. Man, it made my heart melt because it was the first time that I actually got to be with them since I've been sober. It could be their first sober Christmas and New Year's. And so that is scary in and of itself. But there are ways to check in on your loved one. How do you want to handle this situation? What are you afraid of? You should ask that person in your family, like, are you comfortable being around someone that's drinking? And sometimes treatment can't wait until after Christmas. Recovery doesn't mean putting your life on hold. Because once recovery becomes a reality. Recovery means holding on so you can live your best life. I gotta live to see it. You know, not a lot of addicts get that second chance. Another chance at a new life is the best present you can get. If you know the holidays are going to be stressful or that you'll be spending some time alone, it is time to start planning for that. Now that could look like a bunch of different things. It might be baking, it might be virtual challenges where you decorate ornaments or even face masks as a theme of this year. Now, and it could be coming down here and just looking at some Christmas lights. All of those can be done sober. Of course, if you or a loved one are struggling with addiction, make sure there is someone you or that person can call if things just get too stressful. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5.